Okay, so let's get right to it. This is the actual site that I'm going to be building as I walk everybody through setting up the WordPress website. And this is the default theme that's going to come with uh, your website. But we're not, we're not there yet. The first thing that we want to do is we want to do some keyword research. And um, this is going to help us with uh, setting up our pages and categories and all kinds of things that we'll get into to later. Now, don't be intimidated. It's not that difficult. Now, in the PDF and on the download page, is the link to the Google's Ad AdWords tool. And in my case, since my, my website is about drywall, I'm going to type in drywall. And then hit the search. Now what this does, and this is a free tool, what this does is this gives me an idea of what kind of phrases people are searching for and how many people a month are searching for them. Here's a how-to drywall which has got a uh, little over a little over one million searches a month. So what we want to do now is open up a notepad and I got dual screens so I'm going to put it over here and we're going to want to pick some of these out and put them in our pocket for later drywall contractor 14,000 drywall installation prices how to install I don't have a this is not a how to site so I want to avoid those types of Eight thousand on drywall crack repair. That's an odd one. So what you want to do is you want to go through and pick out some some good keywords. You can then also, if you wanted to, like that was just for drywall. I could put in repair and see what else I come up with. And you can spend you know maybe an hour or so doing this, coming up with as many uh, huh. drywall paper repair San Diego a lot of drywall repair needed there huh? it shows up in here drywall you know, ceiling I like that then you also might want to copy you can also save these and download it as a file the ones that you pick out um, the search volume so you can remember and put that in your notepad or if you choose to download it drywall repair tips oh, there's a good one for a four-word keyword phrase that gets a little over a thousand searches a month and that's on a global scale and over here it's got the local so if you're running a local business, it gives you kind of an idea. None of the tools that you use online are exactly <coughs> correct. <laughs> it just it gives you an idea, a ballpark. And what we're going to want to do with these keywords that, that you come up with, and you can change them around a little bit. You don't have to be dogmatic about it. But uh, we're going to name our pages and our categories and other things, and then also sprinkle these keyword phrases that people are searching for in our text throughout throughout our site. So that's some basics on how you do keyword research. Um, this is the free tool. I'm going to show you another one. Let's go to our Google search. Word Tracker. Now what Word Tracker does, and it's also a free tool, and it's got a paid version. Oh, I think you got to sign in to use it now. Yeah, you do. Um, but you get a free trial and this gives you daily searches so you can you can do a comparison you can do it at, over at word tracker and uh, at the Google free Google tool as well and uh, do a cross comparison to get a better idea what's going on but I mean for most things uh, just using the free Google tool is fine um, 
unless you're into like affiliate marketing or something like that, really competitive stuff, then you could go ahead and spend a little bit of money on, like I recommend, Market Samurai. And the link is there for that as well. Um, and that's a professional grade tool that really does some in-depth keyword research. Um, you know, you might want to do that, say like, uh, you're an attorney or uh, some other really highly competitive type business like that, you might want to invest in a tool. Um, but for most local listings, it's, it's pretty easy to search with the stuff, uh, show up in the search engines with the stuff that I'm going to be, be teaching you. So get your keywords together and uh, put those in a notepad and then put them in your folder. And we'll just put that in our pocket for later. All right, we'll go on to the next step.